What is up guys, it's Peak Reacts here. I'm back with episode four of this rebuilding series. Um, if you notice by the screen, I have simmed, played a couple games. I'm gonna go through how I'm liking the team, what my thoughts are, and then also my plans for this episode. So as you see, we're 14 and eight. We've been solid, win the games we're supposed to win. We've lost to some good teams, Clippers, Nets, Lakers, Rockets, Lakers again, Celtics. We did have a tough loss to the Knicks. And then I've played a couple games. So like this game against the Nets, I played with them. And all I gotta say is I am very excited about this team. I'm gonna go to the stats and I've been very happy with what Obi Toppin has brought to the table. He's averaging 13 points a game, five rebounds, two assists, 58% from the field, and 48% from three. He shot the ball extremely well. He's, his morale, he's happy, uh, he's loyal, he's liking where he's at. Um, and let's see, let's go to his uh, career high. Yeah, he had 30. He's had 30 this year in one game. Like in the last game against the Nets, he put up 28 points and four rebounds in only 24 minutes. Dame put up 27 points and 13 assists. Gary Trent has been a huge bright spot. Nurkic has been playing extremely well. Um, as we go to see this game, Dame and CJ. Rodney Hood, forgot to mention that. Rodney Hood is back. Nurk is out right now with a bruised left hip. That's fine because we have Hassan. But I'm gonna get into what I feel like I need to do with him later um, in this episode. But uh, Rodney Hood is back. So he's been starting at a three. My rotation has looked like this. I've got Lillard, McCollum, Hood. I've inter-swapped Obi Toppin and Zach Collins in the starting lineup multiple times. Um, Zach Collins brings the defense, but Obi Toppin has been really good for just, um, he's not the best defender. He's a very raw defender. He's got the size, got the tools, but he hasn't been the best defender yet. So Zach Collins is in there when I need more defense. But Obi Toppin's there to stretch the floor, provide offense, and be quicker against those, uh, like against the Nets. Um, this, this last game against the Nets, I played him at the four multiple times and he was going against Jarrett Allen so he was able to completely expose him. But we did play the Nets here where we took a loss where Kevin Durant dropped 29. Obi Toppin dropped 30 in this game. So he played and he's good and when he's got a guy that is like um, not the, like slower guarding him. Uh, but about that Nets game, CJ played terribly. Two points on O of 8 shooting. He's been okay this year. He's not been the best but um, so yeah, like Rodney Hood is back. He's played well since his return. Um, the thing is, Trevor Rees is just sitting down here making $12 million a year. I've got to get rid of him here at the upcoming trade deadline. Vernon Carey is going to probably slot in at backup center if I do get rid of Whiteside, which is probably going to be my plan. Because my issue right now is when we're going against the LeBron Jameses, the Kevin Durants, the Giannis is we have no defender to guard him. Obi Toppin, I had to play the three against the Nets that first game because Kevin Durant was going off and I had no one um, to guard him with. So I had to throw Obi Toppin because he's the only guy that can match size because Rodney Hood is not gonna be able to guard the opposing team's best player. Trevor Rees is too old. Gary Trent has been a bright spot defensively and offensively. I mean, what is he averaging? He's averaging 11 points a game this year, 36% from three. He's been pretty good. But I need a elite defensive wing. And I think that's what I'm gonna go out and do. Um, I like Rodney Hood still. I like Nasir because he, he's a raw defender, but I just don't see where he fits. The people, I mean, I, Hassan might have to be on the move because A, I'm just, Hassan's been very solid this year. He's a great defensive center, and he can gobble up boards. But um, he's a bad, he's not the best playmaker. Not as good as Nurkic, who, let's see, how is he doing this year? He's averaging four assists from the center spot, so that's what you need. He's averaging 15 points, 12 rebounds. That's exactly what you want from the center spot. And um, he can shoot his free throws, and he's been extremely well in his return. He's able to move the ball around. And I think Vernon Carey can fill the void of a backup center because I don't technically need it because I still have Myers Leonard here who can run backup center if needed. 
And Vernon Carey is also not happy right now. He is, he is displeased with how things are being handled. He feels like he should be playing in the NBA. So he is not happy. Um, Nurk is unsatisfied right now, but that's because he's injured. And he, he has been starting, but he knows he's not the best center on the roster because the Sun is a higher rating. But CJ, um, he's upbeat. Lillard is super happy. He's delighted. Whiteside's e even happy. He wants to be a part of the long-term game plan, but I just don't think that can happen. Gary Trent's happy. One person that's not been happy, I don't know if he is now, Simons. He's, he's starting to like how he's been used. Jalen Horde is happy. He's up here. So everyone... Zach Collins is the only one that's uneasy. He's happy with his involvement. I think it's just because he's on his last year of his deal, which is another thing I want to do in this episode. Contract extensions. I want to re-sign Gary Trent because he is, I think he's a future, he could be a huge part of our future with us. Um, Nurkic is undecided, but we do have his bird rights. Um, Trevor Reza, doesn't matter. But Gary Trent, I want to re-sign and I will give him some good money. I'll throw him $10 million a year. So $20 million in all two years. No player option. I just want to have him for two years. I'll offer him that contract, and he's happily accepted. So he is with us for the future. Zach Collins wants to test free agency. Not a fan of that. Simon says he will not re-sign, which is a little disappointing, but I would rather have Gary Trent than Simons. Um, and the rest of these are ineligible at the moment. So, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna sim a little bit um, until around Christmas, so right after Christmas. And then I think I'm gonna try to trade Trevor Ariza. Not sure what I wanna do yet, but I gotta get off of him. We'll see what we get here. Got to get some wins under our belt. We beat the Timberwolves. If we can get, if we can get a five win, five game win streak here, that would be huge. We should beat the Knicks. That's how we like it. 17 and eight. We've got the Wizards next. That's a W and an OKC here. They want Obi Toppin, hell no. Um, and we beat OKC, so a very solid week. Um, Trevor Reza just is playing a lot, which I don't understand why. Um, but CJ dropped 28 this game. Dame has been a great distributor this game. We got Dame putting up nine assists again. That's why I like to see Dame to Gary Trent, CJ. Obi Toppin once again has a good game. Um, this was a low scoring game, but we pulled out the W and then CJ. We just, how long did Dame do this game? 13, 4, 10, that's fine. Um, Show you the stats once again. Dame is playing like an MVP candidate once again. 28 points a game, seven assists. CJ has been up and down, but I think he can pick it up in the future. Nurkic has been solid, Obi Toppin. Um, Hood has been okay since his return. Simons has been disappointing, same with Collins. Um, but I'm kind of going to go through the trades um, and see what I can get here for Trevor Ariza. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, yeah, I'm just, the thing is, I just don't know what I need because I'm liking Obi Toppin as a starting power forward at the moment. Obviously, Nurkic is normally starting center. We need a, f a small forward, but I kind of want to do that with Whiteside later, more toward the trade deadline, and maybe not. So maybe I can throw Trevor Ariza in a first and see what I can get for that. Um... So that's what I'll do. Uh, I'll throw a second with him. Trevor Reason a second. So we see Mello, Marvin Williams, and Amino. So nothing that I want to do. Um, I don't know if I want to... I'll look at offers for Whiteside right now. I'll pair Whiteside with Ariza. No picks attached. So if I were to do that, I'll be sitting at, oops. Oh, Little just got hurt. What happened with him? Back spasms one to two weeks. 
my current injury makes me feel worse than that time I went on a blind date with Gary Coleman. <laughs> what is with this? This is, that's funny. Nurkic, he's about to come back. Vernon Carey, I want to get him some minutes. That's what I want to do. Um, okay, so that would put Nurk at center. I'll pick up a starting small four for Ariza. Off the bench, I've got them. I've got Vernon Carey or Leonard, whichever I want to do. Simons, I could run a nine, it's ten man bench still. And I would like my, I would, I would like my bench. And I would get rid of Ariza and Whiteside for starting three. And I would still have a little here. We'll, we'll see how we do, but we're gonna look at Whiteside and Ariza. It's a lot of money tied to those two, but hopefully we can get a good three. We got nine offers. Aaron Gordon, I don't need it. Bullet Depot, they wanna do that. Yeah, none of these, none of these I love. I'm gonna go to Team Intel. Who would be a guy that the Blazers would target in real life? Uh, no one there. Good three. Rebuilding. Otto Porter was rumored to come here, but I don't see that as realistic. Gordon Hayward has been rumored. Um. I don't know a guy who I could actually go after. Oh, is this guy on this team? Um, okay. He might be injured right now, but I think you might know who I'm going after. It's Lamarcus Aldridge. The issue is 35. How's he doing? 18 points a game, shooting the ball well from the field. Six rebounds, one assist. I mean, we loved him in our Portland days. He obviously has gone down. Let me look at Gordon Hayward, see how he's doing. So he's playing well, 37% from three. I like what Hayward's doing more. So what is a trade finder for Gordon Hayward? No offers. I don't think I want to pull a trigger yet. Let me just look at these standings real quick, see how we're doing. So we're second in the Western Conference and just one and a half game back from the leaders, but Kings are up here, that's surprising. Um, but that's besides the point. Um, I'm gonna simulate until Nurkic is back. See where we're at. And then probably look into some more trades. We beat the Warriors, lose to the Clippers, that's fine. We should beat the Pelicans. Domination, these are two big games, two home games. We'll see how we do. I'm not gonna worry about this right now. Beat the Rockets, and are we gonna beat the Lakers, we do. That's, a, that's an excellent week. Dame dropped 41 versus the Lakers. That's what I like to see. Obi Toppin had a rough game. CJ and Dame, though, domination. Nice. Dame, once again, goes off this game. 27, 23, and 16 for Toppin. That's what I like to see. It's really what I like to see. Uh, so, is Nurkic back? Nurkic is back and he had an excellent game. 20 and 24. Wow. They didn't even play us on, okay. So, yeah, Nurkic is back. There's Hassan off the bench, shooting our power force, small force. Oh. Tough decisions here. Um. Decided. I want Nurk back. He's expecting even more money now, which I don't love. 
21 million for Nerf, that's not even a ton. Um, we look at these standings again. So we're tied for the one seed, so changes don't technically need to be made. That's the thing. But I need to get off this. I need to get a starting small forward. Um, so let me look at these. What if I... If we're gonna be really good this year, we technically don't need this first. So I'll throw this first with Trevor Reza. See if we can get any good defending small forwards, and it doesn't look like we will. So we might need to trade Hassan. Um, Hassan, Trevor, and a second. What does that get us? Is that the same deals? It looks like it is. go Gordon Hayward. I think those are the two people I would like to go after, unless there's anyone else here that I love. I don't think there is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna end the video right here, and I want you guys to comment down below who you'd rather have. It's not gonna technically change my decision, but it'll help me out, help me figure out who we should go for. Um, or if we should just keep Pat, stand Pat with this team and ride it out because we are tied for the one seed right now. But that'll do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below who you think we should trade for, and that'll be it. Peace.